You are about to witness a true story of a girl diagnosed with gonorrhea. Although the rates of gonorrhea are highest among highly sexually active teenagers and young adults, everyone is at risk for contracting the disease. It is estimated that over 700,000 people in the United States contract gonorrhea each year. Viewer discretion advised. What am I doing here? I don't remember last night at all. I could have been hurt. I could have been raped. Did I have unprotected sex? Laura struggles to gather her clothes from across the room, not knowing where or when she took them off. As she begins to find her way back home, she's scared she could have contracted something from that strange man. Where am I? How did I get here? What should I do? One week later... After Laura's little bathroom experience, she feels it is necessary to make an appointment with her doctor. Come in. Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm not feeling too well. What seems to be the problem? Well, I feel a rather strong burning sensation when I urinate. And when did this happen? It started two days ago, and just recently I've been having increased vaginal discharge of a yellow or green color. Have you had any sexual intercourse within the past month? Well, I'm not sure how to tell you this, but there was this one night at a stranger's house, and I'm not really sure what happened. Oh, I see. Have you had any random vaginal bleeding between your periods? Yeah. Have you experienced any other symptoms such as anal itching, bleeding, or soreness, or even painful bowel movements? Yeah, all of those. It looks like I'm just going to have to take a quick urine sample. Okay. What other methods are there of diagnosis? Well, I'm glad you asked. There's a little lab procedure called a gram stain. Ooh, what's that? Well, that's when I take a sample of the bacteria growing in your vagina. And with that sample, I stain it with iodine and then look at I'll the... just pee in this cup! Oh, okay. Here! Oh. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go run this by the lab. I'll be right back. Okay. Well, I hate to tell you this, but it looks like you have gonorrhea. Gonorrhea? Yes, gonorrhea. Gonorrhea is a sexually transmitted bacterial disease caused by Neisseria gonorrhea bacterium that grows easily in warm, moist places of the reproductive tract. Like the uterus! But it seems worse than it is. Gonorrhea can be treated with antibiotics, but you must be careful to complete these antibiotics given to you. Why is that? Not completing the antibiotics will just make matters worse. Gonorrhea is a common cause of pelvic inflammatory disease, or PID. If left untreated, PID can cause damage to your fallopian tubes, which may cause infertility. Infertility? Yes, but don't worry about that. As long as you do what is prescribed and complete the antibiotics, gonorrhea can clear within two to four weeks. Thanks, doctor. You've been a great help. Oh, shucks. Now go to the store and buy methods of SCD prevention, such as dental dams, condoms, or even vaginal condoms. Okay.
But we all know the best way to avoid STDs. Abstinence. Have you had any other symptoms such as anal bleeding? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, what's that? Well, that's when I take a sample of your vagina. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Do it again. I got some pee on my hand. <laughs> Same. Like the uterus. 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 I. Oh my god. <laughs> <gasps> done. Oh no, that was a man sleep. <laughs> Naked. Hey, Kirby. <laughs> Baby, come back to bed. <laughs> mm.